Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss more about uh, nested quantifiers. We are going to solve more problems on them. So let's move to the problems. Let us see the first problem now. Uh, determine the truth value if the domain is the set of all real numbers. The first question is for all x, there exists a y such that x is equal to y squared. So you, we have to check that for every x, for every x which is a real number because the domain is what the domain is real numbers does there exist does there exist a y which is again a real number such that x is equal to y square so you pick up any real number in your mind and then try to think that can this number be written as square of something we can write that three can be written as square of what three can be written as square of root three but can i write this for every real number suppose i take the real number zero zero is square of which real number zero is the square of zero itself then if i take nine what is nine the square of it is the square of three if i write minus one now minus one is square of which real number so you know that if you take square of any real number it will be always zero or greater than zero it will never give you a negative answer right so no real number satisfies this property that its square will be equal to how much its square will be minus one actually if you take the complex number i its square is equal to how much its square is minus one but this is a complex number it is not a real number and we have to find all what we want to find a real number so this is this will not work here right so this means that we cannot do this for every x we can do this property this can be done only if x is a number which is uh, greater than or equal to zero if x is negative then you will not be able to find a y such that x is equal to y square right so this is false this is false because we, we are asked the truth value okay this is false what is the reason behind it the reason is if x is equal to minus one then no such y which is a real number can be found now let's go to the second one there exists x there exists y such that x plus y is not equal to y plus x so so what are we supposed to do here does there exist does there exist x and y which are real numbers such that x plus y is not equal to y plus x now if you take any two real numbers and if you add them x plus y and if you take find y plus x you will always get the addition to be equal equal so this means that can we find such x and y which satisfy this property it is no because all the time x plus y will always be equal to how much will be equal to y plus x so this statement is clearly false this 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 is false what is the reason because for any two real numbers x and y x plus y always equals y plus x so this is false the next question is that for all x there exist y such that x plus y is equal to one so let us write this in words for every for every x which is a real number does there exist does there exist a y which is again a real number such that x plus y is equal to one so we will ask this question to ourselves because we want to find whether this statement is true or false we want to check the truth value so we are trying to check whether this is correct or not so if you pick any real number x 
can you find a y such that x plus y is equal to 1 this is very easy because if x is given to you okay and you want to find y such that x plus y is equal to 1 i will simply take y equal to how much i will take y equal to 1 minus x so if you give me x is equal to 3 what will be the value of y can i find the value of y yes i will just put it in this formula it is 1 minus 3 which is minus 2 if i take x equal to 0 i will get y equal to 1 if i take x equal to if i take x equal to minus 2 i will get y is equal to 1 minus minus 2 which is 3 so all the time this formula y equal to 1 minus x will give you that if you give me x i will be able to find a y what is that y that y will be nothing but 1 minus x such that their addition will automatically turn to be how much their addition will automatically turn out to be 1 so this statement is clearly true what is the reason for any x choose what value of y are we going to choose? Choose y equal to 1 minus x. Okay, so the statement is true. So we could find y. The fourth statement is there exists x for all y such that x plus y is equal to 0. So how are you going to ask a question to us? Does there exist? Does there exist an x? which is a real number such that, sorry, first for every y in real numbers, x plus x into y is equal to zero. Can I find the x? Can I find that x such that if I multiply it with any y, I will always get the answer equal to zero. I will always get the multiplication equal to zero can we find that special number such that when i multiply that special number with anybody this y is anybody okay any number then that multiplication will turn out to be zero you know that special number is nothing but choose x equal to zero so could you find that yes i could find that so the answer is true choose x equal to zero because zero into anything zero multiplied by any real number y will always give you zero so the fourth statement is also true now what we will do is we will flip the quantifiers so if you observe in this third part this is for all exists and then uh, for all x and then there exists but in the d part you have there exist written in the first place and then for all y written in the second place so does this order really matter okay is it that uh, can i write this there exists first and for all second or is it really going to re make a difference or if it is not going to make a difference then i will write it in any how any fashion right but uh, in the next exercise you will understand that there is a difference between the two things okay look at this particular exercise now uh, qxy is the statement x plus y equal to zero and the second and we are asked what is the difference between the two quantifications write the truth value in each case now if you see here here for all x for all x for all x there exist a y q x y and the second thing there exist a y for all x q x y okay so is is it the same question asked in two different fashions or are they really different so you should always go through the order first first you should look at this and then you should look at this in the second part i will first look at there exist and then and then i will put what then i will put for all x okay let me see the first part now what is the meaning of the first part this is a very important exercise for all x there is for all x which are real numbers domain is real numbers okay let me take domain is r for all x there exists a y belonging to r such that x plus y is equal to zero this is qxy okay what is the meaning of this can i write it in words for every x 
which is a real number we can find a y which is also a real number such that x plus y is equal to 0 okay is it correct or not what is the truth value so this is the meaning of only in words what is the meaning of this quantification so now let us check is it correct or is it not correct is it we are finding the truth value pick any real number in your mind suppose i pick a real number three can i find a real number y such that three plus y will give me zero so it is clear that if you give me any real number x if this is given and this is what I want to find. What y will I choose? I will obviously choose y equal to minus x because this x will go on that side. So if you give me any real number x, if you give me real number 5, what y will I choose? I will choose y equal to minus 5. If you give me y equal to minus 3, what y, if you give me x equal to minus 3, what y will I choose? I will choose y equal to 3. So if you give me any x, can I find a y? such that x plus y is equal to 0 so the answer to this is yes i can always find true what is the reason because given any x we will we will choose y equal to how much y equal to minus x so that x plus y automatically becomes equal to zero. So the answer for the first quantification is what is true. Okay, let's lo look at the second quantification. See, the only the order is changed for all x, for all x is now written in, at the second place and there exist y is written now in the first place. Okay, I have not changed, otherwise everything is same. So what does this mean in words? There exists y for all x, q, x, y. So does there exist, does there exist a y? Can you find a real number such that for every x, x plus y will turn out to be zero okay so this is asking me what can i find that magical number y can i find that magical real number y so that if i add that magical number with any x if i add that magical number with any x i will always get the addition equal to zero now think carefully which is that number if you add it with any number that answer should become zero right for example try to find a number in your mind if you add it with five it will become zero if you add the same number okay the number is the same now you cannot change the number okay there exists a y so once you tell me this number y is this that number is fixed okay if I add that number to 5, then also I will get 0. If I add that number to 7, then also your answer is 0. If I add your number with minus 3, then also your number is 0. Your answer is 0. So which number, which magical number does this job? Which if I add to any number, I will get equal to 0. And then you will understand that you cannot find such a number okay so does there exist a person y which is a real number which if added to any real number will always give you zero so no you cannot find such a number so this quantification is what this is actually false because we cannot find a real number y which added to any real number x 
gives zero so you cannot find such a number so this quantification is what this quantification is clearly false so now you understand that there is a difference between these two things okay i will change the page so for all there exists something is need not be the same as there exist y for all x p x y so these so remember you cannot change the order you cannot take this for granted saying that this statement is nothing but the same as this statement i will just change put there exist y and put for all x in the second place and i will not do this okay for example i'm trying to tell you something like this again let me give me one more example okay there exists a x there exists a y for all z x plus y plus z equal to zero this is not the same as it need not be the same as there exists y for all z there exists x x plus y plus z you cannot just simply change and put anybody at any position this is not allowed so you have to take care of the order who comes first this comes first then next then this comes third for all z comes so there is an order you should not you are not allowed to change the order of these quantifiers okay